जय श्री राम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लो सेल्फ एस्टीम मेनी यंग पीपल आई नोटिस सीम टू डिस्प्ले सम ऑफ दीज क्वालिटीज हियर इट इज हाई टाइम दे गिव अप ऑल दिस एंड बिल्ड देयर वर्थ फीलिंग एंड एक्टिंग लाइक ए विक्टिम प्लेइंग द विक्टिम कार्ड ब्लेमिंग अदर्स स्केप गोटिंग ब्लेम योर सेल्फ फॉर एवरी फेलियर दैट यू कम अक्रॉस इन लाइफ एंड वर्क हार्डर एंड इम्प्रूव द डे यू स्टार्ट ब्लेमिंग सम वन एल्स यू आर ए लूजर being judgmental of self and others don't waste time be proactive anticipate the future prepare now study now to meet that future stop complaining stop being a reactionary a reactionary means a person who resists change who loves to live in his comfort zone and he is always complaining about everything so be proactive don't be reactive reactionaries are actually very conservative so reactive and reactionary people who are uh, reactive are usually reactionaries who want to stick to the old outdated systems of course not everything that is old is outdated so please be careful uh, don't be an extreme non conformist breaking agreements violating own standards live up to your promises or better still don't promise uh, phony fake fake smiles uh, snobbery uh, so this phoniness should go exaggerating pretending and telling lies please stop doing all this self deprecating shameful blaming critical condemning oneself self pity self pity is a uh, an emotion where the person spends a lot of time being sad and melancholic about uh, how miserable his life is uh, wallowing in self pity and uh, thinking that he is he is suffering much more than everyone else that is self pity Ah, uh, so please don't get into that mode. Nice person, approval seeking, people pleaser. Remember, you can't please everybody, so don't bother trying to please everybody. In fact, just live your life quietly. Don't bother about what others are thinking about it, ah, uh, because obviously, as long as you're not doing anything outrageously irrational or nonsensical, negative attitude. Don't become a black hat thinker. Always at the drop of a hat, saying something negative. I'm sick of these people. Cassandras, doomsday prophets, wet blanket, surplus, surplus, you know, kill joy, will spoil all the joy by saying something negative. Rationalizing. Now, rationalizing is a negative word. Trying to justify some unreasonable action or belief system. Stop doing that. Become a Krishna Bhakta. Study Bhagavad Gita. Stop rationalizing your stupid beliefs. Jealous, envious of others. This is another problem. Huh? Uh, if you if you are jealous that is all right but uh, i mean you should be inspired uh, you should be inspired to do better than the others but mm, nurturing hatred and trying to harm them and deprive them of their property or whatever that is nonsensical that is asuric behavior perfectionist yes you should try to be a perfectionist but remember this world is imperfect so true perfection is not there in this world सहजम कर्म कौंते सदोषम नात्यजेत सर्वारंभा ही दोषेना धूमेना अग्निर्वृता कृष्ण से वेर एवर देर इज फायर देर इज गोइंग टू बी स्मोक सहजम कर्म कौंते सदोषम नात्यजेत एवरी टास्क एवरी थिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज अटेंडेड बाय सम डिफेक्ट इवन द मोस्ट परफेक्ट लुकिंग थिंग हैज इम्परफेक्शन बिकॉज दर इज नथिंग परफेक्ट इन नेचर but that doesn't mean that you stop attempting to achieve perfection krishna is saying don't avoid action because it is going to be imperfect so never wait for a perfect day ha eh? never wait for a perfect day it will never come never wait for the day when you will become perfect you will never be so start now as you start you will slowly learn and over years you will become good so i am trying to become a katha vachak raconteur storyteller uh, pravachana karta so i have not yet studied the whole of mahabharata ramayana no i have studied a little and with krishna's grace i am managing <laughs> dependencies addictions compulsive self destructive no bad habits no smoking no dependencies try to cut down your dependency on everyone huh? all dependency is a source of misery and pain sarvam paravasham dukham sarvam atmavasham sukham mano complacency stagnant don't sit on your ass get up keep working be a karma yogi 
not liking the work one does well if you don't like the work you do get out of the job uh, identify your calling your profession a calling means a profession for which you have gay, great passion okay leaving tasks and relationships unfinished yes of course there is something called a zigarnik effect if you leave tasks unfinished your mind will make a good uh, record of that and will repeatedly tell you that you will have to go back and do that so actually leaving tasks unfinished improves our memory but then from a different perspective try to complete there are too many things in your life already which are incomplete so relationships be nice to people try to because even in bhagavatam krishna says gurur na sasyat svajano na sasyat patir na sasyat janani na sasyat devo na sasyat pita na sasyat janani na sasyat devo na sasyat patir na sasyat na mochayet na mochayet samupeta mrutyum that means rishabadeva who is a part incarnation of krishna is saying guru na sasyat svajano na sasyat don't become a guru do not become a relative pita na sasyat janani na sasyat don't become a father don't become a mother devo na sasyat patir na sasyat do not become even a demigod or a god or a husband or a wife for that matter why if you cannot uplift your dependents out of this samsara namochayet samupeta mrutyum if you cannot uh, uh, enable them to acquire moksha accomplish moksha uh, uh, if you cannot make them moksha yogyas uh, if you cannot help them get salvation redemption nirvana moksha then do not enter into any of these relationship so that means every human being has such a very important obligation to help all his dependents uh, uh, become worthy of moksha this is hinduism for you hmm? not trying to uh, there is no question of converting killing um, nothing like that uh, next judging self worth by comparing to others and feeling inferior stop comparing yourself with others you have no idea what their life is uh, if you can find inspiration from others that is sufficient doesn't accept or give compliments please make it a habit to give compliments every day you must compliment at least 10 people from morning to night sincere compliments and when somebody compliments you thank them profusely thank them you made my day i will remember this this will motivate motivate me for a long time or for a lifetime hmm, please do that excessive worry worry is a Mo- one of the most useless emotions 99% of things that we worry about do not happen and what is the cure for worry action please prepare and remember the uncertainty principle nothing is certain in this life remember death memento mori constant reminder of death in my studio i have kept a, a soft toy a big python hanging from the ceiling and on the fangs uh, i have written death and it greets me the moment i enter the room this python will greet me it is hanging from the ceiling it's a memento mori latin phrase for constant reminder of death you never know i could die today evening eh, or a couple of hours from now or tomorrow but uh, it's also possible i might live for another 30 years so since the possibility of death is hanging on our head do all the good work you can do today as much as possible as fast as possible you never know whether you still have time so always be in a hurry <laughs> uh, fearful of exploring the real self who are you real self uh, atma gnana uh, try to acquire atma gnana which is possible through study of gita no other religion can give you that they will fool you you have to Uh, you will be compelled to believe some senseless dogma don't get into other religions and worshiping stupid babas also shunning new and ever fearing mistakes or failure yeah please be open every day learn something if not every day at least once in a week i would like to learn something every day that's why i have a personal library keep learning hmm? and uh, uh, never fear mistakes never keep making mistakes that's how we progress in life irrational responses and emotionally hijacked ruled by emotions so test your eq take an eq test i will conduct an eq test 
then uh, become self possessed keep emotions under check do not get emotionally hijacked lack of purpose in life there is no purpose no ambition god damn it many young people i see they are just uh, drifting watching movies going to parties having a nice time and uh, simply becoming a parasite on the parent also no purpose no ambition useless fellows feel inadequate to handle new situations yeah this is natural when you don't have any self confidence you know you are not worth anything but you celebrate your birthday why should you celebrate your birthday when you have not made any useful contribution to society you are not if everyone in the world becomes like you will the world be a better place answer the question and if the answer is yes then you can celebrate what good have you done what have you contributed how much happiness do you produce every day hmm? go and touch your parents feet every day when you go out of house uh, out of your house to work or whatever T- hug your parents uh, let them know how much uh, gratitude you have for them thank them uh, feel resentful and one down when i lose yeah we lose uh, losing and winning is part of life so every time you lose learn something from it keep progressing do not make the same stupid mistakes again make new mistakes vulnerable to others opinion comments and attitudes yeah i am not i am completely thick skinned i don't really care about what others think but i keep listening of course because we need to know the pulse of the people also but do not let others opinion you know that story na that father and son who took a donkey to market to sell they were walking along with the donkey people said these fools Uh, instead of sitting on the donkey they are letting it walk freely so both of them sat some la- some time later some other people crossed their path and they said see uh, these rascals and see they are torturing the donkey both of them are sitting so the sun got down and the father was sitting on the donkey after some time some more people crossed their path and they said look at this old man sam uh, father uh, see that young boy is walking poor this lazy man he should take some exercise in his life so the father got down and allowed the boy to sit after some time some more people crossed the path they said see this boy he has no respect for parents his father is walking and this rascal is sitting so the boy got down and finally the father and son tied the donkey to a uh, to a stick and tied its leg to the stick and they started carrying the donkey and they came to a bridge and when they were crossing the river the donkey started uh, struggling and finally the donkey fell in the river and drowned if you are hyper sensitive to other people's opinions this is what will happen you will lose your donkey and that's good perhaps <laughs> jai shri ram